In the brain, capillaries are surrounded by the blood-brain barrier, which plays a crucial role in maintaining brain health. The blood-brain barrier is highly selective and prevents pathogens and harmful substances that could be present in the blood from entering the brain while allowing the passage of necessary nutrients. The anatomy of the blood-brain barrier includes endothelial cells, pericytes, tight junctions, and astrocytic end feed attachments. Tight junctions tether the endothelial cells together and contribute to the restrictive properties of the barrier. These junctions are formed by complexes of transmembrane proteins that bind adjacent cells together. These complexes are arranged in networks along the surface of endothelial cells, limiting permeability to small lipophilic molecules. While the blood-brain barrier is effective at stopping the entry of harmful agents, it also prevents 100% of large therapeutics and 98% of small drugs from entering the brain after being delivered into the blood. This is a major obstacle to the treatment of brain disorders such as Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and brain tumors. To efficiently deliver therapeutics to the brain, Strategies are being developed to briefly overcome the blood-brain barrier while ensuring the rapid restoration of its long-term protective function. Scientists at Sunnybrook Research Institute have established a non-invasive approach to briefly increase the permeability of the blood-brain barrier in a controlled, targeted, and reversible manner. This procedure requires the use of MRI-guided focused ultrasound and the intravenous administration of phospholipid microspheres, also known as microbubbles. The ultrasound waves are generated by a transducer array fitted around the patient's head. With guidance from MRI, the transducers can be targeted to sonicate precise brain regions of interest. Microbubbles are composed of a phospholipid bilayer shell that is approximately 1 to 2 micrometers in diameter and are filled with an inert gas. The interaction of the ultrasound waves with the microbubbles result in a temporary increase in the permeability of the blood-brain barrier. The drug to be delivered to the brain is injected into the bloodstream with the microbubbles. In preclinical studies, this procedure has been found to successfully allow the passage of therapeutic molecules, vectors for gene therapy, and stem cells to areas of the brain targeted by ultrasound. The drug and microbubbles travel throughout the circulation, and as such, the ideal drug candidates for ultrasound delivery are the ones that are beneficial or inert outside of the brain and produce positive outcomes once they enter the brain. Once the acoustic waves reach the brain region of interest, they activate the microbubbles within the blood vessels at this location. The ultrasound has a frequency of millions of waves per second. Here, they are being shown at a much lower speed for clarity. The ultrasound waves interact with the microbubbles which absorb the acoustic energy, causing them to expand and contract within the capillaries. This phenomenon is called oscillation and it results in the stretching and compression of the capillary walls. The protein complexes are mechanically separated and the tight junctions become unlocked. As the permeability of the blood-brain barrier increases, the therapeutic drug begins to exit the capillary and enter into brain tissue. The duration of the sonication cycle is very short, lasting only one or two minutes. The barrier remains permeable for only a few hours after the sonication is stopped. The intercellular spaces widen and facilitate paracellular transport. Transcellular transport can also increase as endothelial cells shuttle the drug out of the vessel lumen. The drug is now able to reach its therapeutic target in the brain. As the procedure resolves, 
microbubbles disappear from the circulation within minutes. In 24 hours or less after the sonication has ended, tight junction proteins reassociate. The endothelial cells are restored to their original state and the barrier fully regains its protective function. Through this non-invasive procedure, a variety of drugs can gain access to the diseased brain for treatment, while the area and duration of enhanced blood-brain barrier permeability is minimized. Preclinical studies have discovered potential benefits of administering only focused ultrasound and microbubbles without introducing a drug. This procedure was found to both increase neurogenesis in the hippocampus and to activate glial cells, specifically microglia and astrocytes engaged in the phagocytosis of pathological aggregates. In conclusion, Temporarily increasing the permeability of the blood-brain barrier with focused ultrasound in the presence of microbubbles is a method that could transform how therapeutics are delivered to the diseased brain. In addition, blood-brain barrier modulation by focused ultrasound could also stimulate the brain to reinitiate regenerative and protective mechanisms. Ongoing research programs are actively investigating the potential of using focused ultrasound for the treatment of brain disorders.